When men and women interact, and this is what the experts find, is that the primary need that they find for a man is to feel respected. Them. So for example, a man might do something, or a brother, might do something that is interpreted by the sister or the woman in whatever context as being uncaring. So he does something that, that feels like it's kind of insensitive. Okay. Now what does a woman do in response? Well, our knee-jerk reaction also happens to be the absolute worst reaction. Our knee-jerk reaction is to react with attitude, right? It's to react kind of in an aggressive sort of, um, you know, almost like disrespectful way, okay? And that, the root of that, though, is that we feel uncared for, or we feel unloved, or we feel that someone has done something insensitive to us. So we react with harshness. Okay, now what does that do? Well now when you're reacting with disrespect, you're now depriving the man of his primary need, which is to feel respected. And so how does he react? He reacts by being even more unloving and even more uncaring and even more harsh. And so now you are in this crazy cycle because when, now when a woman feels that, she reacts with even more disrespect. So the question is how do we break this cycle? And what they say is that there's something called unconditional respect and unconditional love or care or, or care or consideration, depending on the context, of course. So what does that mean in terms of Islamic work? What does that mean in terms of a marriage or a relationship? Well, what it means is that regardless of whether or not we feel that someone is being insensitive, if we respond, especially when dealing with a man, if a woman responds with unconditional respect, meaning that she remains respectful, that that will actually trigger a man to be more caring and more loving. And this is really interesting because if you look at the advice that the Prophet ﷺ gives, it is exactly follows this formula. So obviously the Prophet ﷺ is going to give us the advice that is most helpful, right, to have a successful relationship. So when Allah, when, when the Prophet, Allah and His Prophet command the women or, or advise the women, most of the advice that's given to women is not to love men, is not to love their husbands. Why do you think that is? Well, because women Love comes naturally, right? We, we give love, this is something that we naturally, and we are, very, um, we are very familiar with the concept of unconditional love. However, there's something we're not that familiar with, and that is respect. We do not understand the concept of unconditional respect. We as women feel like, well, you gotta, re you gotta deserve my respect, you gotta earn my respect, right? So if you're treating me bad, I'm not gonna respect you, right? Now that's the problem right there, because when we take on that attitude, we're only going to get more and more harsh treatment. It's like, it's like this knee-jerk reaction.